In the contour plots, we can place two regression variables in the horizontal and vertical axis and the predicted response as the contour lines. However, our twin, the power of tree design, has three regression variables, the temperature, the substrate, and the enzyme. So, which contour plots are the best to show the results? We have three options. We can have substrate and temperature, enzyme and temperature, and enzyme and substrate. And the yield will be shown as the contour lines. However, we must remember that the enzyme is a categorical variable. It can only assume two levels, E1 and E2. There is nothing in between E1 and E2. There is no enzyme one and a half. A contour plot with a categorical variable in the axis does not make sense. As the enzyme can only assume the levels minus 1 and plus 1, E1 and E2, we are going to build a contour plot temperature substrate for each enzyme. We will have substrate temperature for enzyme E1 and substrate temperature for enzyme E2. Let's use our studio to build the contour plots. Here we have the codes for the contour plots. In the first line, we are loading the RSM package, the Response Surface Methodology package. In the second line, as we have two plots, I am creating a grid of one row and two columns for the plots. Then we have the contour plot of the natural model results as a function of temperature and substrate for enzyme E1, Xe minus 1, and the contour plot for enzyme E2, Xe plus 1. Let's run. And here we have the substrate temperature plot for the enzyme E1 on the left and for enzyme E2 on the right. They appear to be very similar at first glance, since they have a similar color pattern. However, a careful look will notice that for enzyme E1, the contour lines are separated by two units, and the yield ranges from 56 to 72. And for enzyme E2, the contour lines are separated by 5 units, and the yield ranges from 50 to 80. To have the same color pattern and contour lines levels in both plots, we are going to set the same parameters for the z-axis. The z is the response axis, in this example, the yield. So let's go back to our code. Now we are going to set the Z limit between 45 and 85 for both plots. So let's get rid of these hash symbols. And run them again. Now the difference between the two plots is much more visible. Let's transfer them to the presentation to interpret them. Back in the presentation, let's analyze the plots. First, the effect of temperature. The temperature has a much stronger effect on the yield for the enzyme E2 compared to the enzyme E1. For enzyme E1, increasing the temperature from 20 to 30 degrees increases the yield in about 13%, while for enzyme E2, the same increase in the temperature increases the yield in 33%. This distinct behavior is responsible for the significant interaction between the temperature and the enzyme in the analysis of variants. The effect of the temperature on the yield depends on the enzyme type. For substrate, the increase in the substrate concentration from 20 to 40 grams per liter causes an average decrease of 5% on the yield. The effect of the substrate concentration is the same for both enzymes. In this lesson, we have learned how to build and analyze a twin the power of three factorial design. And this example also covered how to interpret results from designs with significant interactions and with mixed numerical and categorical factors. In the next lesson, we are going to work with a four-factor design and analyze experiments without replicates.
take care and see you on our next lesson.